Hi everyone, it's Dr. Rich McLean, and I'm not under the illusion that others have faced problems, but I'd like to share my current predicament with you, and I invite everyone's intervention. My very life and my liberty and my freedom are in jeopardy, and various government departments, including the NDIS and Bill Shorten's office, are complicit in exacerbating my financial difficulties and deliberately obstructing my access to stable housing and to my prosperity. Currently, I'm housed by a Good Samaritan as a house guest whilst awaiting a supported independent living application from the NDIS, which would see me accommodated. If it's rejected, I can't be housed indefinitely as charity and I'll be forced onto the street or into crisis accommodation as has happened before to me under the government's watch. I'm an individual diagnosed with chronic schizophrenia, ADHD, adjustment disorder and a cognitive brain impairment. The brain injury I suffered resulted from a suicide attempt that led to me losing consciousness and being found with no observable pulse. This tragic event occurred within Werribee Mercy Hospital and there has been a deliberate cover-up of the incident. My suicide attempt wasn't rooted in mental illness. It was a response to systemic and political victimization. I'd become a political prisoner of Australian society, um, enduring systemic victimisation, and that was a violation of my human rights. Although these human rights abuses have been documented by my NDIS worker, the Australian Human Rights Commission has failed to acknowledge or investigate them, and my continued persecution and oppression is still going. I think for me, my troubles stem from my former partner, a former ASIO agent, Steve Isonides, to whom I was engaged to, to be married for five years. During that time, he exploited me, leaving me homeless after we separated. David Irvine, the ASIO boss at the time, condoned this exploitation because while Steve earned $40,000 a month, I struggled to make ends meet on a disability pension. Due to my whistleblowing, he was apparently fined a million dollars for his corrupt financial practices. And rather than taking responsibility for his actions, he now threatens to kill me and that of my beloved Husky, the only thing I have left. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, no government department acknowledges the existence of the relationship. I am 50 years old and I have never had legal representation. As a rejected whistleblower, I can't even turn to the police as they are complicit in the conspiracy. Victimisation is against the law, and my victimisation has been both political and systemic and occurred over years, an elongated period of time. I'm creating this video for my very survival. I'm hoping for a better life and to expose the pervasive corruption among many public officials and it reaches the highest levels. The Australian Human Rights Commission refused to investigate my documented human rights abuses, victimisation and oppression. I'm banned at the Australian Financial Complaints Authority, which has led to millions in detriment for me. I've lost two or three work cover cases, um, rejected at Comcare and upheld at the AAT in a decision 
that wasn't impartial, fair or legal because I had no lawyer. HCF um, have never paid my income assist for when I got ill from work and severed all contact and banned me from contacting them. My painstakingly crafted business website, richmclean.com.au, was maliciously destroyed by the government-linked Micron 21. I'm banned from contacting Comcare, WorkSafe, HCF and AFCA. And at the very top, the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet initially dismissed my Freedom of Information request as voluminous and complex, and then flatly denied the existence of any documents whatsoever. These documents, however, do exist because I'm a former illustrator for both the Herald Sun and The Age, and I'm also a human rights awarded autobiographer who's received awards for my account of living with schizophrenia, including Sane Australia's Book of the Year, and also a Human Rights Award from the Victorian Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission. I'm known because I've spoken extensively at local, state, federal and international levels and have appeared as an advocate on numerous media platforms, including the Today Show, Stateline, Dateline, Triple J, The Drug Debate on SBS, ABC National Life Matters Programme, and dozens of other radio and TV stations, from Outback Dubbo to overseas at Montreal, Canada. I've also been an exhibiting artist for over 30 years with dozens of exhibitions under my belt. Ethically, I know that this victimization is causing me great harm because I'm distressed and it is causing me harm. And I've studied ethics at a PhD level and I'm a doctor of philosophy and to act ethically means to do no harm. So I'm not an incapable person and as a person who has contributed significantly to Australian society, I implore you to stand with me today and share this video. Without immediate intervention for accommodation, food, medicine, human rights, and my equal access to the law and um, equality before the law, as stated in the human rights of a person with a disability that Australia is a signatory to, there will be no future for me and I will die. I've become a scapegoat even to the point of already losing my life and then it's cover up. Now, if I died from here on in, mental illness would be conveniently blamed to the exclusion of all other factors and those responsible for neglecting their duty, including politicians, lawyers and public officials engaged in corrupt conduct, will refuse to accept any liability. The Attorney General, Mark Dreyfus, refuses to acknowledge my emails or calls and I await my report back from the Independent Anti-Corruption Commission. Please join me in speaking truth to power. If you're in a position to help, you can donate via the pay ID provided below and when my prosperity is heralded, I will pay you back. I wouldn't need a YouTube channel if I just had one person to confide in or to support me. And that's when you know that your scapegoating has been meticulously executed and just about impossible to break through. I'm creating this video to have a better life and to speak truth to power and to actually be able to survive as a legitimate human being on the planet. And my proven track record helps people. And when I win, society wins because I'll go back and continue to help people in the community. Please help stand with me and support me in my quest for equality and dignity and my justice, which has so far evaded me. Thanks.